Hi, a cool hi to you. Let's start with the ABCDs of mathematical inequalities. Here is the rule of thumb. Less than greater than both take the highest priority. Less than equal to greater than equal to takes the second highest priority. Finally, equal to has the lowest priority. Let's start with model 1. Here is an expression is greater than or equal to y equal to z greater than w greater than or equal to q. So now let's see how x is related to all others. So first x and y how they are related it's simple x greater than or equal to y. Now if you take x and z how they are related can you say me now what you have to do is just look at the symbols between x and z what are the symbols you have between x and z it is greater than equal to and equal to now you say me the priority order which takes the higher priority greater than equal to or just equal to the answer is greater than equal to so obviously the answer is x greater than or equal to z that's the relation between x and z Next, let's see how X and W are related. Now, if again you see what are the symbols between X and W, you have greater than, equal to, equal to, and greater than. Now, say me, which has the highest priority? Here, greater than has the highest priority. So, obviously, the answer is X greater than W. Finally, X and Q, how are they related? Again, please look at the symbols between X and Q. You have greater than, equal to, equal to, greater than, and greater than, equal to. Which has the highest priority out of this? It is greater than. So, obviously, the answer is X is greater than Q. Now, again, let's look up how Q is related to all others. So, it's going in the reverse direction. So, First, Q and W, how are they related? It's related like W is greater than or equal to Q. So how should I write in terms of Q? It's like, please listen, when you write or when you read the expression from the reverse direction, from the backward direction, you just find the priority of the symbol and inverse the symbol when you write. Okay, just just you just listen. Here, W and Q they are related as Q less than or equal to W. How I got is just write Q first, followed by here. Since I go in the reverse order, I have to reverse the symbol also. That's it. If you go in the reverse order, just reverse the symbol. So Q and W, how are they related? Just using the greater than or equal to symbol. Since I go in the reverse direction, I reverse the symbol. That's it. Next one is how Q and Z are related. Again, you find out the symbols between Q and Z. You have greater than and greater than equal to, which takes the highest priority. Obviously, greater than. So, when you are going to write, since it is in the reverse direction, you have to write it as Q less than Z. Right? Next is Q and Y. How are they related? Again, it is very simple. Let's look at the symbols between Q and Y. You have greater than, equal to, greater than and equal to. Okay, three symbols you have. So out of this, greater than takes the highest priority and since it is in the reverse direction, I have to reverse the symbol. So it is Q less than Y, right? Finally, I am going to compare Q and X. Here, the symbols in between are greater than equal to, greater than equal to and greater than equal to. Here, the highest priority symbol is greater than and since it is in the reverse direction, I should write Q less than X. A set of statements will be given to you like D less than N, N equal to F and F less than equal to T. Then a set of conclusions will also be given to you like two conclusions are given here. First one is D equal to F and D less than or equal to T. What is your objective is to check whether the given conclusions are according to the given statements and you have to pick one of the option out of this. So, we have to make sure whether one conclusion, one is true or two is true or both is true or neither of them are true and tick one of the answer. So, let's start with working out the solution. So, so now I'm going to write the statements as a single statement. I'm going to combine the three statements into a single statement as below. 
d less than n and equal to f f less than or equal to t i do this because first statement ends with n and second statement begins with n so i combine them similarly second statement end with f and third statement begin with f so i combine them and make it into a single expression like this now i want to verify whether my given conclusions are true or not remember which has the highest priority less than or greater than which has the second highest priority greater than or equal to or less than or equal to and equal to symbol gets the lowest priority now first conclusion is d equal to f so i am going to draw a line from d to f it is a forward arrow so now say me what are the symbols we have between d and f i have less than and equal to out of this less than has the highest priority so the relation that is apt between d and f is d less than f but conclusion one is d equal to f so conclusion one is wrong now i am going to take the second conclusion which is d less than or equal to t so i am going to draw a arrow from d to t so now what are the symbols between i have between d and t i have less than equal to and less than equal to out of this less than has the highest priority so obviously the answer is d less than t but conclusion 2 was d less than or equal to t so conclusion 2 is wrong so now i want to pick which is the correct out of the five it is neither one nor two is true is my right option here is example two here a set of statements are given as before and some conclusions are also given as before right so now we want to check whether this conclusion is correct according to the given statement first let us derive the statement a single statement from the three given statements so i will be getting d less than n equal to f less than or equal to t now first conclusion is f less than d so i want to draw an arrow from f to d less than f less than d so i draw from f to d it is a reverse arrow so i am looking up at the symbols between f and d i have less than and equal to so which is the highest priority symbol it is less than since it is in the reverse direction i should say the relation is f greater than d so conclusion one is wrong now conclusion two t greater than or equal to n so i am going to draw a line from t to n now what is the symbol that has highest priority between t and n it is less than or equal to since it is a reverse or backward direction i have to read it as t greater than or equal to n so conclusion two is right so obviously i should pick up the option only true is true here are another set of statements being given here d less than n n equal to f and f less than or equal to t and here are the conclusions d less than t and f greater than d so we have to pick up an option let us derive a single statement from the given statements it is d less than n equal to f less than or equal to t so taking conclusion one d less than t i'm going to draw a line from d to t so here d to t what are the symbols i have in between less than equal to less than equal to here d to t is a forward arrow so obviously less than d less than t is a correct option now taking the second one second conclusion f greater than d now f and d i am drawing a line from f to d here the highest priority symbol is less than since it is a reverse direction i should read it as f greater than d so conclusion two is also right so my answer is both one and two are true here are another set of statements d less than n n equal to f f less than equal to t and here are the conclusions t equal to n and n less than t i have to pick up an option now combining the three statements into a single statement i get theirs now t equal to n i draw an arrow from t to n so what is the highest priority symbol between t and n i have less than equal to the highest priority symbol so the answer is since it is backward direction it should be t greater than or equal to n right so option one fails again if you take the second option which is n less than t so again it is in forward direction okay n and t must be compared now so how i get is same 
same thing being compared so I get again the answer is n less than or equal to t is the correct but conclusion 2 was given as just n less than t here you have something to listen really very carefully when two symbols are related in two equations like this t equal to n and n less than t if you observe carefully in backward direction t is greater than or equal to n in the forward direction n is less than or equal to t right so if you combine both the conclusion what you get is n less than or equal to t okay so that's a correct answer actually if you see now when you combine both the conclusions you get n less than or equal to t which is correct both in the forward direction and in the reverse direction so obviously you should select either one or two is true so i will say your trick here when you should select either one or two is true is when in the conclusion two symbols are being used same two symbols are being used that's very important here you see in conclusion one t and n are used in conclusion two n and t are used same symbols used again and again so you try to combine both the conclusions together and you check with the equation whether it works correctly if after combining both the conclusions if you get the correct answer you should select only either one or two is true once again when the same symbol is used in both the conclusion there are many chances for you to get either or as one or two as the answer for such a cases you just combine both the conclusion together and then you check in the equation you will get the right answer and you don't forget to select a model 2 here is an example expression now let's see how x is related to all others this is quite different from the previous one so you have to concentrate and listen me so how x is related to y it's very simple x greater than or equal to y now how x is related to z now look at the symbols between x and y you have greater than equal to and equal to all of this which has the highest priority greater than equal to so x greater than or equal to z is the right option now how x is related to w it is you have three symbols greater than equal to equal to and greater than greater than has the highest priority so answer is x greater than w yeah it's correct now we have the different case you see x and q how are they related now i look at the symbols between x and q i have greater than equal to equal to oh god i have same priority symbols here you look at this i have greater than as well as less than which are the same highest priority symbol now which to choose a big confusion right so the answer is you cannot relate x and q it's impossible for you to relate how x and q are actually related since you have greater than symbol and less than symbol in between them you simply remember when you have same priority symbols between two letters obviously you cannot relate those two letters that's it here is a question and conclusions are given which of the following expressions will be true if the expression r greater than zero equal to a greater than is less than t definitely true so i want to pick up the correct conclusion or correct option out of the given options let's take the first option which is o greater than t i'm going to draw a line from o to t which is a forward arrow now i select a symbol between o and t here i have three symbols equal to greater and less than here greater and less than are equal priority symbols so obviously i cannot conclude a relation between o and t but in option one they say there exists a greater relationship between o and t so obviously option one is wrong now taking the second option x equal to o i draw a line from s to o so now i have the symbol equal to and greater than between s and o since it is backward arrow i have to reverse the symbol of the higher priority that is greater than must be reversed and it should be read like is less than o so option two is wrong because option two is given as is equal to o but the actual relation between s and o is 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 less than o next third option is t greater than a so i'm going to draw a line from t to a now 
between t and a i have the symbol less than and greater than so equal priority symbols obviously i cannot determine a relation between a and t so obviously option three is also wrong because in three they say t is greater than a but no such relationship really cannot be guaranteed now taking option four i draw a line from s to r now between s and r i have the symbol greater and equal to now since it is in reverse direction i have to read it as s less than r so option four is the right option next taking next question you have been given two statements u equal to v greater than or equal to w greater than x statement one and w less than y less than z as statement two followed by conclusions one and two now we have to pick one of the following options let me derive okay answer for this first given conclusion is x less than z since two statements are given here i want to combine statement one and statement two such that x and z should be related so in statement one if you see x how it is related is w greater than x and in statement two we have w so to combine statement one and statement two i have to use w as a key because in statement one you have w in statement two you have w so I have to use W as a key to combine both the statements. So how I do is taking statement one, I take down as W greater than X. It can also be even written as X less than W, reverse way. Okay. Now statement two is given by W less than Y less than Z. Now combining both the statements, what I get is X less than W less than Y less than Z. That is my combined up statement. Now the conclusion one is x less than z so i'm going to draw a line from x to z which is forward now the highest priority symbol is less than so obviously conclusion one is right now taking conclusion two u greater than the x so for u and x they are related in statement one itself so taking statement one i'm going to draw a arrow from u to x so now what is the highest priority symbol between u and x i have greater than so u greater than x is also correct so my answer is both one and two conclusion follows and here is another question for you statement a statement is given and two conclusions are given i have to pick one of the following options so first conclusion is x less than u draw i'm going to draw a line from x to u so between x and u i have less than greater than equal to greater than i have two same priority symbols less than as well as greater than so obviously conclusion one is not possible taking conclusion to v greater than x so i'm going to draw a line from v to x forward arrow in between i have the symbol greater than equal to and greater than here the highest priority symbol is greater than so obviously conclusion two was correct so the answer is only conclusion two follows here are some important morals is not greater than q what is the mathematical meaning for it it is p less than or equal to q p is neither less than nor equal to q what is the mathematical meaning neither less than nor equal to it means p greater than q p is neither greater than nor lesser than what is the meaning p is equal